All right, guys, so let's start by fixing a little bug we had in the last episode. So basically, we're about to zoom in on our water table, and then if we try to zoom out, we click somewhere here, and that works just fine, right? But if we actually try to zoom out clicking right on top of the water table, we'd actually go back, well, you know, the drop menu would be called, and then we would enter that, um, that phase where we're actually looking at the waypoint of the water table. So basically, we need to, to tell Unity that right now, this frame, during that very frame, don't send me back to the water table, just send me back to the drop menu. Well, actually, just run the drop menu by itself and don't do anything else. So, um, we will add a really small condition inside of the hub manager. Let's open it up in Mono Develop. We are going to go up here, declare a new private boolean that is going to be called something like um, this is the transition frame is equal to false by default. And uh, let's go ahead and just put that to through pretty much every single update. So right about here, transition frame is equal to true. And when we actually drop the menu, transition frame is going to equal false. I mean true, sorry. And then in the update, that's going to be false. Okay, so I just inverse those two. So every frame in the update, we're gonna say the, transi the uh, transition frame is equal to false. And whenever we click on the menu, that very frame, we say it is equal to true. Now we're going to add a new condition inside of here. So if input dot get mouse button up and transition frame is not equal to true, so we could say like this. Oh, sorry, is not equal to true, or we could simply just use transition frame as a boolean and put a exclamation mark right here. Okay, so this way we should have fixed our little bug. Let's go ahead and try it out really quickly. Click here, then I click once, and it goes back. And it only lasts one frame, so my click is actually, you know, I can quickly click back on my thing and it's going to work. But I need a additional click, so a second click. Alright, so guys, next thing we want to do is actually fill the rest of that menu. We'd like to actually have more than simply the word table over here. So, if we take a look at our PSD file that we've made really quickly. So, I'd like to be able to display the currency. That's one of the first thing I'd like to do, but we don't have any currency just yet. So, we're going to just forget about that for now. We need to be able to start around. So, that's going to be in the Ward Table menu. We need to be able to view special upgrades. We don't have any of those, but let's create the menu for that anyway. View tower stats and also the share center. So, we need three additional um, object, hub object in our scene. So wire table is the first one. It is in the center over here. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to do the share center now. Uh, share center is basically going to be, if I, explain, uh, if I explain it real quickly, share center is going to be allowing us to put some links to say the uh, Facebook page or to watch an ad, which is going to give us revenue and then we're going to give some in-game currency to our player in exchange of that. So something of the sort, let's go ahead and just move the share center. The share center is going to be right about, say, there. Now, of course, it's not always going to be cubes and it's going to look a little bit better, but that's my share center right about here. Okay, so I need a waypoint to actually look at this. Where is my waypoint? It's right here. This is the share center waypoint now. And let's actually have a nice look at this object. So I'm going to rescale this like so. And this is the front right here. Let's actually have a look at the share center, say like that. Of course, it does not really matter for now. We are just, it's not the final design, but we're just implementing those, um, those waypoints and those menus. So. This is a draft, basically, we're not putting that here for real at the end. Okay, so I've got my nice angle, I'm going to click on my share center, go under game object, align with view, and we should now be good to go. This one has a ob object on it, so that works. Now we need to change the waypoint for share center waypoint, right there. And we also need to change the menu for a menu that we're going to create right now. Okay. So we've got over here our war table menu. I'm going to duplicate that. And this is going to be the share 
center menu. Now we could give it a different shape if you wish. We could leave it like that also, it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as we have a menu and we go back to the share center and link it. Like so. Right. So now we can go back in the preloader. Actually test this out. Hopefully everything works. So that's my game. Click here. Click out. Click on the share center and it actually goes here. And that's the other menu. Okay, so we've got two of those working. What else did we need? We've got the share center, we've got the uh, start around. Let's do the view special upgrade and also view tower stats really quickly, so we're not going to spend too much time on those. Simply going to put them in there because eventually we're going to be moving them around. So, duplicate my war table again. Um, this is the tower stats. Again, tower stats, waypoint. Where is it at? It's over here. So the stats are going to be right about there. Why not? And as for the waypoint, somewhere here so we can see all the other in the background. Game object. And I'm going to align with view. Okay. Now we need a menu. Let's go under UI root. Duplicate one of those. Tower stats menu and you know what I'll just simply put some text in there so we can actually uh, differentiate them so text is going to scale on each axis and increment the text size like so this is the tower stats okay let's copy and paste this text over to the share center this is share center and once more for the wire table okay and where were we okay so over here on the tower stats we need to actually assign those two so the tower stats waypoint work now we need to put the tower stat menu and finally one last thing we need to do where's it at it's going to be the uh, special upgrade or the research facility that we're gonna have so again duplicate war table I'm going to actually put it somewhere up here this time like right about there why not this is the research of course uh, the name don't really matter we just need to make sure they have the right links so research waypoints and again I'll go over here have a nice view of this and we are going to hit align with view now as for research um, we've got the research waypoint we need a research menu again duplicate research menu and inside of the text this is going to be research we link it over here and then we should be finally ready to go all right so let's hit play from the preloader we actually load the game up and here is our hub really messy hub but we're gonna be fixing that later on so down here we've got the share center we click off we've got the war table in the front we've got the tower stats right here and up there we've got the research now all the camera angle works fine. Okay, so we've got all of this working. Let's actually put a button on the wire table to actually start a round or start a mission. Right, so to do that, we are going to go under the hub, the wire table menu. Actually, you know what? We're going to turn off all the menu because in the end... No, actually, we're not going to turn it off. We're going to put the alpha on zero on the canvas group. So just select all of them, put the alpha on zero and this pretty much happens when we start a game so the alpha is on zero when we start the game we have uh, a function that does that for us actually a call in the start so it doesn't run it doesn't really matter if we do it here but uh, I just want to be able to see what I'm working on so I'll be turning on the alpha 40 word table when I'm working on it and we're gonna create a button a really simple button for now of course this is always debug uh, stuff so it is not going to stay forever and never mind what I did, I'm going to anchor this down 
put a width of 250, height of say 100, and just move it up a little bit like so. Now this is going to be the start mission button and it's pretty much going to call a function that we don't have already so let's go under the hub manager and under the hub manager we are going to collapse all of these and actually create a section for our button so those over here down here they're going to be the button action so if we do public void and uh, start mission like so we can then call this function from inside our button right so let's go ahead and just do a scene management so we're gonna need the scene manager up here so using unity engine whoops dot scene management and we're gonna do scene manager dot load scene we're gonna load the game scene of course we might be putting a little bit more in that function uh, really shortly but that's the bare minimum we need to do to actually launch the next scene which we haven't created just yet but we'll do that in a second as well so our table we've got our button over here let's choose it click the plus sign we are going to put the hub manager right in there and then find the start mission function which is uh, right here so um, our button should now redirect us to a new scene and we don't have that scene just yet so we're gonna go create it really fast by hitting control N on the keyboard start a new scene control S and we save as game or the same exact name you've put a little bit earlier in the script so in my case it was game now as always I'm going to go into lighting and just remove the skybox and now let's go ahead and open up the preloader, test this out. Hopefully everything works. We go under here, start mission. And it does not because I told my text to actually um, take the whole screen. And right now when I'm clicking here, it's actually clicking on my text. So let me fix that really quickly. Under my war table, I am going actually under my UI root, war table menu, I'm going to put the text on pivot top and actually just move it a little actually you know what I'm going to remove the text we don't actually we don't need it there it's only for debug purposes that I put it in there just to know which menu I'm selecting and that's going to be pretty much it for this episode guys thanks a lot for watching if you have any comment or question you can leave them in the comment section below and also subscribe for more tutorials like these thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one